Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous session, we clearly understood what exactly is segmentation and why is it necessary or how cautious one should be towards getting the better segmentation done. In this session, we are going to clearly understand what are the types of segmentation and a brief note about each of them. We are going to understand in depth each of them in the future sessions and I will explain you how exactly all these works with more mathematical derivations and equations in future. This session will give you a brief note. There are many types of segmentation techniques available. They are thresholding technique based segmentation, histogram based segmentation, region based segmentation, edge based segmentation, clustering based segmentation, morphological transforms and texture based segmentation approaches. We can choose any of these techniques based on our requirement and before we go in depth, we need to understand what each of these techniques are up to in a brief. So it's very interesting and easy to understand as well. Let's first understand what is thresholding based segmentation. Now, what is it? This method is suitable wherever there is a difference, a distinct difference between object and the background in the image. I have an image. I can use thresholding method there if there is a difference distinctly available between the object and the background. The goal of this kind of segmentation algorithms is to divide. As I told you already, the segmentation is all about dividing it into two distinct regions. Here, we are going to distinctly separate and identify the object versus the background. It is. It could be based on the intensity values or properties of these values. Is, is, this is what the fundamental idea behind segmentation. I need to now identify, I need to now separate, I need to group the components together which share some common properties. Here, we are going to use these approaches, these kind of segmentation approaches where thresholding is going to play a key role, where there is a distinct difference between the object and the background. Well, this is the most simplest, this is the easiest of all the segmentation techniques and there are three types of segmentation techniques which are further followed for further divider with thresholding. One is global, second one is variable, third one is multiple. We will see about this little later in depth. Now, what is histogram based segmentation? Histogram is a very simple technique again. Histogram of an image is nothing but it's a plot. It's a plot between the intensity levels along the x-axis and the number of pixels at each gray level along the y-axis. Or you can call it this way. This is a plot between intensity levels versus the frequency. So, this is the simplest way that somebody can define histogram and we are going to use histogram as the parameter here and we are going to get the segmentation done. A good threshold can be found from a histogram picture if the histogram peak is tall, narrow, symmetric and separated by deep valleys and based on this one can separate the foreground and background in the image. What do you mean by that sir? I will repeat it. Based on the histogram graph, you are getting the histogram right. Based on the histogram, if it is tall, narrow, symmetric, based on these structures we can identify which one is foreground and which one is background and we can separate them. This is called as histogram based segmentation. Well, what is region based segmentation? It's very simple. I am going to now segment the image into various regions which have similar characteristics. What is a region? A region is nothing but group of connected pixels which are sharing similar property. I'll now identify which are all the pixels having similar properties and I will group them all as segments. That's all. This is called region based segmentation. There are two techniques which fall under this segmentation technique. They are region growing and the second one is region split and merge techniques. We are going to learn this in depth but now understand that this is fundamentally based on grouping or segmenting the various regions which have similar characteristics. I will get a region which is nothing but group of connected pixels which all share the similar property. Now comes the most important and most fo most followed uh, segmentation technique, which is called edge based segmentation technique. What is an edge? The edge is simple. It is nothing but a sudden and significant change in the intensity of an image. I have got multiple objects in an image. When I navigate from one object to another object in the picture, I could definitely see that there is an intensity change between one to another. These changes happen between the boundaries of the object. I have got a cup. I have got a cycle in the image, the cup to cycle navigation when I move, there will be definite intensity change, there will be definite and significant intensity change 
from the cycle to the cup or vice versa these edges can be detected based on this intensity change between the object and the image i will definitely have an intensity change i will detect that and based on that i can detect the edge so in an image if there are multiple objects there could be easiest way to identify the multiple objects by detecting the edges so if segmentation techniques are carried out based on these edges then we call it as edge based segmentation right please understand i will have to understand what exactly is an edge if i identify it or if i proceed with the segmentation based on the edges i call it edge based segmentation now based on the discontinuity or dissimilarities edge based segmentation can be carried out it is unlike the previous one where i said that in this approach where i said that based on the similarity between the pixels i group it but here only when there is a dissimilarity i understand that that is an edge i understand that it is a different object so please understand the difference between edge based segmentation and region based segmentation the region based segmentation is all about connection of pixels together which share similar property here it is all about the discontinuity or dissimilarities i can identify the edges and that can be understood as an object in the image now the next one is called clustering based segmentation well we know clustering we have been reading through a lot for machine learning deep learning things and data analytics as well but here it's slightly different we are going to use the clustering based techniques for performing the segmentation i am going to now segment the image into multiple clusters that are having similar characteristics that's all i have an image i will identify the clusters but the clusters are to be identified with the pixels which are having the the clusters are to be created are to be grouped through the pixels which share the similar characteristics there are multiple clustering techniques available as you know there are so many clustering techniques available we are going to identify few of them and we are going to learn only that which are very important which have got proven success rate and the next one final one is morphological transforms based segmentation what is morphology the morphology is nothing but study of shapes if i study about shape it is called morphology the morphological image processing is nothing but i am going to understand the shapes the of the objects that are present in the image and not based on pixel intensity i am going to now understand i am going to now read through the images based on the shapes and when we do it this way and when we perform the segmentation based on the shapes of the objects that are present in the image i call it morphological transforms based segmentation and finally we come up with the texture based segmentation what is texture you take a sari you take a wall where there are tiles of similar patterns i call it as texture if there are patterns that you can see which are repeated i can call it texture texture is nothing but a repeated pattern of information or arrangement of the structure with regular interval we can see our dresses we can see the sari we can see the walls all those things will have similar pattern getting consistently repeated this texture of images refer to the appearance structure and arrangement of the parts of an object within an image now if we understand the texture well and if we carry out our segmentation based on this texture information that we have we call it texture based segmentation approach that's all it's very simple and easy to understand we have understood the fundamentals we have understood the brief note about all the segmentation techniques in the next session onwards we will go in depth into all of these segmentation techniques one by one where we will also understand the mathematical way of handling it along with a clear explanation i hope you like the content in case you have any questions suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be happy to answer if you like the channel and the content please subscribe and give a thumbs up thank you